as relates to uh, the Infrastructure Academy. As you know, uh, City Administrator, we sat down and pressed the issue about it staying in Ward 8 and also compromising about getting in Wilkerson. And so um, we are not satisfied with the new decision as relates to that because we need access to careers and, and training opportunities that lead to careers in our community, especially in the Anacostia uh, area. I do want to note also the sentiments of my colleagues as it relates to the violence across the district. Um, since I've been on this call, we've had two men and a lady shot in the Anacostia area, which continues to be an uh, area of uh, concern in what they include in other areas. Um, and so I'm not um, happy about the $863,000 cut in the Wands Office, the Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement. And I think we should be putting more money into the budget as it relates to public safety, not a divestment in violence prevention strategies around mental health, um, substance abuse, and wraparound services with our violence interrupters. Um, I also want to ask uh, Madam Mayor, where are we with our Reunion Square and the three senior homes? Uh, in, in Ward 8. Three, what was the last part of your, the three senior homes? Yes, ma'am. And I'm sorry, two senior homes and one senior wellness facility. Oh, okay, I got it. Um, Reunion Square, CA, remind me of what we got back, it's in. So Reunion Square is in after um, a long time um, getting, um, getting something that everybody could support, we are able to um, support the TIF, the first ever TIF uh, in Ward 8. Uh, the CFO uh, scored it uh, with a, a number of the changes uh, that were made and we're pleased uh, to fund it here. And on the Senior Wellness Center, let me ask the CA to talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Mayor. Uh, Council Member White. Uh, so for the Ward 8 Senior Wellness Center, which is in the capital budget uh, at $8.9 million for fiscal year 21, uh, we have been working to solidify a location there, uh, and we uh, really want to move forward and start to engage the community around that location. Uh, we were focused on Kramer Middle School as being the location for the Ward 8 Senior Wellness Center. We also think that that could be a great co-located area for the Anacostia Rec Center. Uh, so that we would uh, both have the Senior Wellness Center and the Anacostia Rec Center on the site of uh, Kramer. Let me just go, uh, Council Member. Is that the mayor speaking? Yeah. Um, Council Member, and let me just go back to your uh, to your first statement. Um, about how we're investing in violence interruption. We've discussed it a number of times and uh, we are very much um, invested in making sure that the Pathways program um, is up and running and making sure that we're adding to the leadership councils at the schools, which I know you have been very supportive of and has worked well uh, in Anacostia. Uh, and the CA has talked about the, the one-time funding. Uh, it, there's a lot of energy from the council in replacing that one-time funding. I don't know that we would object to that, but I think that you also need to look very closely at the, the synergies between that outreach work and actually having um, services connected to that outreach work. Outreach work with no services doesn't help. Um, and that's why we have been very focused on pathways where we have um, con small cohorts working with the professionals uh, in our one's office. So I don't, I don't want there to be any mistake about our commitment to making sure that people are matched up to the programs and services um, that they need that have been helpful. And also our expansion of a model um, building on credible messengers um, that have that work in our one's office and um, that uh, DYRS is working for our young people. Thank you. Um, also, Madam Mayor, um, we've experienced a lot of uh, back and forth last year as relates to schools in, in Ward 8. Uh, like my council colleague, Vincent Gray, I would like to get a, a breakdown of the budgets for our Ward 8 schools. Uh, if you can get, get that to us, that would be greatly appreciated. 
Well, I appreciate that. And I just, I, I also want to emphasize on something that uh, we haven't focused on enough, I think, council member for Ward 8, and that's what the uh, addition of the Bard Early College um, in Ward 8 uh, will do at the Malcolm X Opportunity Center. Um, the CAA has already talked about how we're going to work on a transition for the nonprofits who are working there. Malcolm X Opportunity Center was always meant to be temporarily used in that way um, for uh, so that building could be fully used and fully utilized. So bringing a program that's showing great success that allows our young people to earn college credits for free uh, and transfer those credits on to college when they go. Uh, and it's going to be connected um, by the Congress Heights Metro Station into the housing and retail uh, at St. Elizabeth's is a huge uh, win uh, for the city and for Ward 8. You have also been a very concerned, and as we have, about making sure we come up with a, some permanency for the Excel Academy, which is also an outstanding pr program for girls, uh, and that's right uh, adjacent uh, to Berry Farm at the tip, you know, Anacostia at a wonderful location, uh, and being able to secure a permanent home for them is also going to be hugely important um, for for Ward 8. So we are happy to share with you the additional uh, spreadsheet of all the investments in the schools. Um, but as it as it goes with uh, uh, the increased school spending, um, these are huge. I'll ask my additional questions in the next round, Chairman. 